actually made the decision to, to implement Tradex primarily for process improvement and cost reduction. We got to the point where we were receiving thousands of invoices via a paper route that we had to deal with in a more efficient manner. Tradex seemed the obvious route to do that. I personally believe that the purchase to pay cycle is a process designed to fail rather than designed to succeed. Tradex is part of that solution to um, improve that process and make it more efficient. It was a McNicholas business decision to use Tradex and this is the only way we were going to accept our invoices from suppliers and that worked really well. We've been partnering with Causeway for many years, um, more than 10 years. Uh, we were a key player with Causeway in developing uh, the CPA and the CFA product um, many years ago. Uh, so Causeway is embedded in our business and it works very well in our business. More recently we've adopted more of the Causeway products uh, like highways and other products. Um, we believe in having one system to um, handle as much of our business as possible and Tradex is uh, out of the same stable, obviously integrates very well with the Causeway product and um, the, the last 12 months we've proved that to be the case. We've got an overarching group policy to leverage as much as possible as we can from, from Causeway products um, and because Tradex was already there, it was already part of Causeway, it was the best route to go. Um, it really was just a, an obvious choice to make, what you almost call a no-brainer. Um, to set up Tradex was probably one of the easiest implementations I've done. It was a matter of having someone come from Causeway to do a couple of changes to our CPA server, our, our main costing machine, and do some changes to our firewall to allow specific types of traffic out to the internet. Tradex was easy to set up. Um, the fact that it was an existing application with multiple other users um, meant that we weren't acting as guinea pigs at all, and therefore it was a smooth implementation. I wouldn't have done a great deal differently at all. Um, I believe we got the major components of the project correct. The key one, I would say, is the fact that um, it's important to have a project manager uh, who's leading the project, who's actually got the time to spend on the implementation. We had some issues around attachments that come with the invoices. Um, we had to review the process and go back and, and make some minor changes. If we'd had spent more time reviewing the business process, then we may have avoided that. It's a website, um, and it's no more complex than that. Once you understand the process of Tradex, using the website becomes very, very intuitive. The acid test for me was how the accounts payable clerks were going to get on with the application, and that's gone extremely well, so I'm very happy with um, how that's gone. The main benefits from using Tradex are the obvious ones. We no longer have to manually handle invoices, they're received electronically, they go through a series of validation rules before they enter our systems. So we, we don't have so much, we don't have so many invoice queries to deal with. They just turn up, they go in and we can then process them when we're good and ready. All invoices submitted need to meet our business rules and any failures, are the, the suppliers are notified immediately and not a couple of weeks down the line when they're asking for payment. The main and obvious benefit is that we used to employ someone full-time to register the invoices. Um, we now no longer need to employ anyone to do that. The key to getting the success that we've achieved, which is 90% of our accounts payable suppliers are now on Tradex within uh, 12 months or slightly less than that, is definitely by having a good plan. Uh, a well-managed project and having the resource there to project manage that. Obviously working well with uh, Causeway and the Tradex team, but the, probably the most important thing has been very clear with suppliers up front that uh, Tradex was the only way we we're going to go and that's if they want to get paid they need to go down the Tradex route. Having said that and being firm about that, uh, actually explaining the position to suppliers and being cooperative rather than dictatorial with suppliers was not a key part of that process. So we held things like uh, open days and seminars for suppliers, we had a helpline for suppliers which was run in conjunction with uh, the Tradex team. The key was to follow the Causeway advice which was be bold. At the end of the day the suppliers need to believe that you're serious with the implementation project 
and that unless they submit invoices electronically, they're not going to get paid after the deadline. Uh, Tradex enables us to reduce the amount of paper that we use because we're able to trade electronically. Um, being green is really important to Manicolas. Uh, Tradex hits the mark. You have to be bold. First of all, you need to believe that you're not going to process any manual payments after the deadline. Second, you need to make the suppliers believe that you're not going to process any manual payments after the deadline. One thing that we did um, as part of our project was to return original invoices to the suppliers for those that didn't comply and that really got the message home. First of all I recommend it to anybody. Um, it's certainly the, the way forward with a uh, high volume of transactions. The key to it is good project management, um, having a good team and having a good plan and most importantly being firm with your suppliers that actually this is what you're going to do but at the same time being cooperative and supportive with your suppliers. Uh, that's I'm sure the reason for our success. Our next step, having implemented invoices through Tradex, would be look at orders and start tying the two together to give us the real benefit of matching orders to invoices. Personally, I'm keen to try and get up to 100% adoption of Tradex amongst our suppliers. Certainly, e-ordering will help towards that. We've also talked to Causeway about um, e-GRNs and more automated matching between orders, invoices and potentially GRNs in the future. Music